Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a rubric to an assignment in Canvas. So I'm in a practice site here. I'm going to, on the left navigation list here, I'm going to select assignments. And then I'm going to click on the name of the assignment that I want to add the rubric to. So I'm going to do this one about adding alt text to an image. That's the assignment. So here it is. Here's the instructions for the students and they're going to add an image and create some alt text. So you'll notice if I scroll down the assignment, I haven't clicked on edit. I'm just scrolling down and then you'll see the word plus rubric. And this is where you're going to click. You don't actually have to edit the assignment. So now that I've clicked plus rubric, Here's my choices here. So I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. So first of all, the title. I don't like the title as this is a bad title, some rubric that doesn't, it's not descriptive enough. So I'm going to call this what it is, alt text rubric. Okay, now we have below it, we're going to move our way down. You'll see you have three sort of areas here. You have criteria, then you have ratings, and then you have points. So, you, and you can create more. So underneath, you'll see I have this plus criterion. So let's say this was an essay, and you wanted to uh, give them a certain number of points for grammar. You could make a criteria for grammar, and then you could make a new one for style or for some other criteria, right? So for this one, I'm just going to work on this first criteria for now. So if you'll notice, the whole assignment's worth 10 points. So let's say I wanted uh, two points for just being able to put an image onto a Canvas page. Because again, that's what this assignment is. You're putting an image onto Canvas, and then you're going to add alt text to that Canvas. So, so for the first criteria, I'm going to click on the little pencil, and that lets me give a description. So the first one is a short description here. So I'm just going to write um, add image in Canvas. So that's going to be my short description. Long description, I don't really need a long description because to me this is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to leave it there. If I wanted to I could say, you know, uh, went to the page, clicked edit, uploaded an image, whatever. I could make a longer description. Too much work, not gonna bother. The, this, is, this is enough, right? So I'm gonna click on update criterion. And you can see it's changed the wording here. So now that's my first criteria. And again, I'm gonna make this worth two points. So if they, if they successfully add an image, they get full marks. So I'm gonna edit this. And the, the two points, they get full marks, right? Clicked on the little pencil, and and I can write a more detailed description. Student put the image, put an image in Canvas, right? On a Canvas page successfully. Okay, and then I'm gonna click the blue button, update rating. Okay, so now we have the full marks they get for that. If I wanted to add like a one, you know, if if you if you were doing this for grammar, you know, you could give them if, it, if the grammar was worth ten points, you could full full marks would be ten. You could add like a seven, a six, a five, however many ratings they call them in Canvas as you want. But for this one, I'm keeping it simple. Either they put the image up or they didn't. If they put it up, they get two points. If they didn't they get zero for this criteria. So I'm going to click on the little pencil under zero and I'm going to leave it at zero because that's correct. Rating title, no marks, doesn't make any sense to me, I guess. Uh, that's just me. Again, you got to think like a student would think, like no marks. It doesn't. I get what full marks means, but uh, no marks. I'm just going to call this um, no image, right? Uh, and I'll put student did not put an image on a canvas page successfully, right? 
And again, title this stuff in English in a way that a student would understand. I'm a big um, proponent of calling things what they are in order to lessen cognitive load and so students um, have a good chance of not getting confused. You're not here to confuse them, right? You're here to teach them something. So call it what it is. So here we go. Full marks for putting an image on. No, no image, zero points. Student did not put an image. And then there's a two there. All right, so the second part of this um, assignment asks them to add a succinct alt text, okay? That accurately describes the image. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna copy this description because I think that's perfect. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to create a new criteria. So I'll click on the plus. And here, when I clicked plus, it says, do you want to click a new one or do you want a duplicate one? If you, if you have the same like point system, like grammar style, if they were all worth the same points, you might want to uh, add the duplicate and then just change the title of it. But for, for this one, I'm going to just do a brand new one. So I'm going to click on new criterion. The description is going to be paste it in add succinct alt text i could just leave it there right as the the short description and then in the long description i could paste the whole thing that accurately describes the image create criteria okay and this one is actually the main thing i want to be sure that they can do this correctly so this one is going to be i'm going to change the point value to eight points so that the total adds up to 10 right and then I'm going to add some more ratings in here. So if, if, they, if they did it perfectly, I'm going to give them eight points. And again, I'm going to go up here. And so I'm going to, I'm going to copy some of these instructions. And then I'll edit them. I'll show you what I'm going to do later. So here we go. Under, under here, the full marks, I'm going to click on the pencil. And then I'm going to add the rating description. I'll leave the, ti I'll leave the title as full marks. You could change it to full points if you wanted to, but I'll leave it at full marks. So I'm going to say student added succinct alt text that accurately described the image. Student did not include phrases, image of, or graphic of, or file extensions. Okay, so I'm gonna update that rating, full marks. Now I'm going to, instead of just, it's not gonna be all or nothing. I'm gonna give them some marks if they did most of it, but didn't do 100% of it. So I'm gonna click on this little plus. I'll show you what that does. This little plus, and that lets me add another rating. And I can choose, even though it just says four points, I can choose however many I want. So I'm gonna do six points, and I'll call this alt text, I'll call it incomplete alt text. And I'm going to say student added alt text, but um, used uh, extraneous uh, language such as image of or graphic of okay so they they did all of it but they might have added some extra stuff that wasn't necessary all right so if they did that they get six points not eight points and I'll do one more three points I'm gonna make this two points I'm gonna call this um, um, file extension and this is a pet peeve of mine so let's see I spelt that wrong there we go file extensions student uh, left the image file extension I can't spell it right in the alt text and just to make this clearer, again, for the students, I'm going to say like .jpg or .png. I'll put example. 
example. Oops, all right. Just trying to make this uh, look good here. So again, this, the reason you want to add all these rating descriptions, this is going to save you from explaining to a student why they got the grade they got, right? If you, if you spell it out in this rubric, then the students know exactly what they need to do, right, in order to get the full marks. They have to do this, and they have to do this. And if they didn't do it right, then this explains what they did wrong or what they didn't do right. Okay, and then for zero points, I'll click the little pencil. I'm going to change this to what oh, we had no image. I'm going to call this no alt text. And that's self-explanatory, so I'm not even going to write a description. Right? If you didn't do it, you get a zero. Update rating. Okay, so now my rubric is done. And then if you scroll down, there's some important stuff here. So you can choose this, these things here. If you don't want these to be worth points, you can remove the points. Uh, the one I always do is use this rubric for assignment grading. Okay, that's the one I like to use. Because this way, if a student submits uh, something, right, if the, then I can click on these things. I'll show you. And then I, you can actually use it to grade, which is a real time saver. And that's the main reason I like to use these, as well as so the student knows what they need to do. Okay, so now that I've selected use it for assignment grading, I'm going to click create rubric. There it is. Okay, so now let's go into my test student. I'm going to go into my test student here. And then here it is. And so now as a student, this is what the student sees. They click on the assignment. They'll see your instructions. And then below it, they'll see the rubric. So if you have a student that says, hey, how come I got a six, a six instead of a 10 or whatever? If they complain, go, oh, well, just read the rubric, right? That's, that's why. Um, so they obviously didn't do something right. Uh, so anyways, this is nice. It's right there for the student to see. So the student's going to click, click on the start button or whatever, and they're going to put in, you know, their thing. I'll just put in whatever. It doesn't matter here. The student's going to put in their submission. They'll click submit. Okay. All right. So that's, now the student's kind of over for now. I'm going to leave student view so you can see how to grade with the rubric that we just added. So now I'm back in the teacher mode here. I see I clicked on my assignment and I see that oh, I have a submission I need to grade. So I'm going to go ahead and click on speed grader. All right. And now I would see, just ignore, ignore this part. I just had to put a link in there. But basically, this is where the submission is on the left. And then on the right is where you would give the student a grade. So let me show you. You now have a button called View Rubric. OK. And if you don't have enough room here, I did zoom in my screen. You can kind of click on this border, this vertical border. You can like drag it over so you can see your entire rubric. And that's going to make it easier for you to grade using this rubric. So I'm looking at the student submission on the left. And then on the right, I'm looking at the rubric. And in the old days, we just had to plug in the grade, right, and figure out what they did right and wrong. Now I have my own rubric here, and I can look at the student submission and say, oh, the, yeah, the student added an image, so I'm just going to click on the full marks, and it fills it in for you. And if I wanted to add um, some comments, I could click on that little comment button, and then I could say, you know, great job, good, nice image, whatever you want to comment on you can throw it in there for the student. Next, I'm going to go down to the, the other criteria, which was to add succinct alt text, right? And then I would look at the submission and say, OK, yeah, they added pretty good alt text, but they, they also added the phrase image of. So I'm going to give them a 6 instead of an 8. So you see how it turns green whichever one you're on? You can click on the 6. That fills in the grade for you. Now the student got an 8 out of 10, and I'm going to click Save. Okay, so now this is what 
it's done. I'm done grading. I used the rubric. I didn't have to actually like type any of this out. Like here's why you got a six. And so that's done. I've, that's how you grade with the rubric. You can also still add those regular comments if you want. Those sort of at, at the bottom here, you can use those same speed grader options. So now let's go check it out again from the student view. So here we go. I'm going to go to student view. And now the student is going to see that they've got a grade, okay? They've got grade 8 out of 10, right? And as a student, I'm like, hey, how come I didn't get a 10 out of 10? Oh, I can view rubric evaluation. So the student clicks on view rubric evaluation. And guess what? There it is. I'm going to... They can, they can see here, okay, I got two out of two for the image, and then, oh, here, here I got six instead of eight. It's got this little green indication that this is what you scored as a student, and then the explanation is right in the rubric. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot to, I forgot to take out those words. All right, so that's kind of not so quick video on, on rubrics, why you would use them, and how to add them to a Canvas assignment. Sorry for the long video. Thanks for watching.